Why can't I be satisfied with my hair? <laughs> Ever. All right, good as we're gonna get. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my February favorites and a couple of flops. I decided to start adding in um, maybe some products that didn't work out for me, but maybe they'll work for you, but it's fun to share. <laughs> uh, before we get into the video, if you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie and welcome to Jay Sanchez Beauty. I try to post every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button before you leave to join the family. And let's just get into it. <laughs> All right, so I'll start with my favorites. <laughs> Let's start with the good stuff. <laughs> so the first thing is actually a brush. This is the Luxie uh, 516 Duo Fiber Powder Brush. I've been loving using this lately to blend out my um, stick foundation because those are always super like emollient and creamy and um, I've just found that this really keeps the full coverage effect and blends it out really nicely into the skin. Uh, I don't know, it really helps blend it out faster. I've really been enjoying it, kind of using it in like a circular motion and then sometimes a little bit wipe it when it gets close to the brows and things like that. But really been loving this brush lately. I've used it pretty much every time I've done my makeup for a while now. Uh, next up, not necessarily makeup but makeup related, this is the original makeup eraser. Um, I recently got this from Sephora as like a little sample or something and I used it for the first time this month and uh, it takes off the makeup so easily. Why have I not used this before? Why am I wasting money buying makeup wipes that sting my eyes? Um, unknown, but I need to get more of these and I really want to try the face halo ones too so let me know if you kind of compare the two of them. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll try out the face halo and kind of compare it to the makeup eraser and see which one I don't know, hmm, getting some ideas. Next up is the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Palette. Um, I've been loving using this this month. I travel every other week for work and this is just the perfect little travel palette. Um, as you can see, I'm obsessed with this banana powder shade. I've already hit pan and I'm gonna run out soon and I'm sad. Um, but I also think the bronzing shade and the contouring shade are just like the perfect shades for my skin tone at least. This is like the perfect uh, warmth and this is just enough gray to give like that shadow effect. So I have not stopped using this for travel since I got it. Powder that I've really been loving and I've actually been using it in a different way than I originally started using it. Oh my eyelash glue is sticking to my eyes. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder. I believe this is the Mood Light one uh, in the shade Dewy. I've been loving using this to actually set my face, <laughs> which sounds a little weird because I know she like released them all as highlighters, but I saw her use it in one video like this, and I think I saw someone else do it too on um, Instagram or something, and I just kind of like, I don't pat it into the skin, I kind of like dust it all over the skin and make sure like I'm still set, but I'm not like, you know, like mattified because uh, I have dry skin, so who wants to be matte? Not me. <laughs> But I've been loving using this in kind of that new way and it definitely makes my skin, I mean I've used it today and it just makes my skin have that like all over nice glow and being set down and um, definitely love the way that it looks with that highlight. We'll talk about that next. <laughs> and speaking of that nice highlight, that is another Jaclyn Cosmetics product. The, the Flash Palette. What I have on, this thing is so hard to open. Uh, today I actually have on the shade Iced, like all over the cheekbone and the center of the nose and the cupid's bow. And then I have um, the shade Gleam, like right on the tippy top. That's like my go-to, but I love using all the shades in this, so I uh, definitely think it's worth the price. But I just can't put this down. It's such a gorgeous highlight. Um, it's my go-to when I'm like, oh, I don't really know what I want to do today for highlight. Mm, okay, Jacqueline, why not? Another product that I've been loving this month is this guy. <laughs> this is the Morphe 35i IC Fantasy Palette. I just love that this palette is so different from pretty much anything I've ever seen um, personally or that I've ever used. It has so many like colors, but not the same like hues as you'll see in other ones um, that are like more rainbow-esque palettes. These are all very like pastel, soft, like not muted, but kind of muted versions of like your average colors. And there are like a lot of really beautiful shimmers too. And like a few little deeper tones. 
I just love the versatility of it. It really has pushed me to get out of my comfort zone and try new looks that I might not have tried before with just like my average neutral palette, you know? But I'm definitely gonna be using this more going into the springtime um, and maybe some of these greens for St. Patty's Day. February is the ColourPop Blush Crush palette. Um, I actually won this in one of their giveaways and I completely forgot that I entered it until I got a message from ColourPop and I was like, ColourPop is DMing me on Instagram? What's happening? But I'm obsessed with this palette. Um, it has so much versatility. Um, it's kind of a pink neutral vibe and you can do some more like uh, soft glam looks. You could do more smoky looks. I have a couple uh, I think I have one or two Instagram tutorials using this and don't be surprised if you see more um, or Maybe I'll post a tutorial on here using this because I absolutely love it like I Have to tell myself not to reach for this one so that I use other palettes because I love this one so much <laughs> All right now for the flops. I don't like when makeup doesn't work for me. I just want it all to work <laughs> Um, so this first product doesn't work for me because I think it's just meant, not meant for people with dry skin. Um, I got it in my Trend Mood box, um, the volume 2, and it's just not meant for people with dry skin. This is the Farsali Liquid Powder Oil Balancing Serum. Uh, did, did I just say cereal? Oil Balancing Serum. Um, this is definitely just not meant for dry skin. It has oil in the name. Yeah, it just makes me way too, way too, way too like mattified as a primer. But I do want to try using it. Like I've seen people mixing it in with their foundation to not have to set their powder, set their powder, not have to set their foundation if they mix this in, since it's supposed to be like a liquid that turns into a powder, which it does do that. But be careful, even if you are oily and you want to try this out, don't apply too much because it literally turns into a powder. And if you apply too much, it gets really like white and dusty. Um, so maybe I'll try this out more during the summertime. Like if I'm getting like, you know, I'm gonna be really sweaty one day or something. I don't know. I'm still gonna keep it around and see if I can find ways to use it that work for me. But as of right now, it's just a no-go for me. Last flop is actually this palette, which I'm very sad because I love the color story. Like I've been really obsessed with working with purples lately. So um, when I, my friend got me this palette, I was really excited about using it. And I tried it a couple times like throughout this month trying to make like some more uh, like soft Valentine's Day springy looks and I just I don't know like there's only like one or two mattes in it and it's not that the pigmentation isn't there with the mattes like the mattes are beautiful I just couldn't really get the shimmers to work the way I wanted like they weren't staying on my lid and when I used one and then tried to layer something like to blend it in it would just make the other one go away and I mean the mattes are beautiful like this shade is absolutely gorgeous like if I could have this in a single shade 100% but I don't know, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get them to work for me and I'm really, really disappointed. I'm gonna keep it and see if I can kind of play with it more, but I don't know, I'm sad. I don't like when makeup doesn't work, especially eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes are probably my favorite thing in the whole world. All right, well that completes my February favorites and flops. <laughs> Hopefully I can find some great new stuff in the month of March. Really looking forward to creating some green St. Patty's Day looks. Green is my favorite color, um, all shades. <laughs> so stay tuned for more of those looks here on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, speaking of Instagram, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you like what you saw here today at J Sanchez Beauty. I post little tutorials and videos on there every so often. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you liked what you saw here today and want to stay tuned for more. I try to post every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.